Hello everybody, welcome to another What's the Combo? I'm Excalibur of Excalibur's Zone Gaming and we are looking at the Adarkar Valkyrie and Thornbite Staff Combo. Uh, what you need is you need the Adarkar Valkyrie, Thornbite Staff, and then some sort of um, way to sacrifice a creature. Now I was wondering what all could we do with this and I decided it would be great to go ahead and just make it a mono white or mono white artifact deck. And to do that, um, one of the things that we uh, <laughs> we can do is bring in our 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 altars. We've got the Freshen Altar, Ashnod's Altar, and Altar of Dementia. Now these allow us to sacrifice creatures. Uh, Freshen Altar lets us sacrifice a creature for a man of any color. In this case, we'd make it white. Um, Ashnod's Altar gets two colorless mana for a sacrifice. And Altar of Dementia um, lets us mill um, an opponent. So these are all very, very important. Because this is how we are going to go ahead and get our um, infinite combos going. What you need to do is you need to take your Adakar Valkyrie. It's got to be in play. And then you need to put Thornbite Staff on her. Now, we're unless it's a, an extreme circumstance, we're probably not going to use this um, one damage target creature player. Though, though, we can do that with an um, Ashnot's Altar, but we need an infinite token strategy, and uh, we have that here in several different ways. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the infinite mana, and these two right here provide that. So what we do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take any creature and I chose ones that have end of the battlefield effects because my god it's my email and Facebook and everything is going off the hook for some reason. So we have things like the angel finality lets us exile all cards in a graveyard. Um, we've got Avon cloud chaser which lets us destroy target enchantment when it comes into play. Attended knight. Well, this guy is going to give us a, a soldier every time it hits the battlefield. We'll put that over there. Um, Sundering Titan. When it enters or leaves the battlefield, I choose a land and destroy the land. So there's some destruction stuff here. Um, Avon Rift Watcher. Uh, when it comes into play, you gain life. So we're going to have an infinite life engine. Quarry Colossus isn't an infinite tuck engine. We'll put that there. Um, Resolute Archangel gives us infinite starting health. Mirror Battlespheres, infinite mirror. Um, Captain of the Watch, infinite soldiers. Inquisitor Exarch. Oh, a white card that does two damage to an opponent. Hmm. So an infinite death combo. Um, Kinnis Bale Skirmisher is an infinite creature ramp. So we're going to put um, the Blade Splicers. All the Splicers come into play and they give you a 3-3 three, three Golem. Wall of Omens is an infinite draw, so we'll put that there. Carnage Altar is infinite draw, but you have to pay mana to do it. So uh, this is one of those ones. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll ignore that for now. So this is an infinite creature pump, so we'll put him down here. Um, here we go. Here's an infinite tutor for enchantments. This is uh, an infinite untap. So, you kill the village bell ringer. Um, Adakar Valkyrie untaps. You bring him back in and everything untaps again. So, it's an infinite untapper for anything that deals with tapping or untapping. So, any white inspired that you have, this immediately becomes an infinite inspired engine. Um, this removes, since this is uh, instant speed, it's an ability you can remove all creatures from attack and all creatures from defense with this. So this is, this goes down here. Um, infinite land. Uh, infinite golems. There we go. Uh, infinite plus one plus one on all creatures you control. So that's an infinite um, battlefield boost. Uh, let's see here. Infinite protection for all your creatures. Infinite goats. 
Now this is for each white mana symbol and mana cost of permanence you control. So this is pretty much, it says Chroma, this is pretty much Devotion. So you put in 0, 1 white goat creature token equal to your white Devotion. Pierce Strider, Infinite Life. Let's see here. Solemn Simulacrum is an infinite land and infinite draw step. Draw. So there you go. Um, this is pretty interesting. When it comes into play, you can remove a card in your hand from the game face down. And when it is put into a graveyard from play, you turn it face up if it's a creature card, put it into play under your control. So you can put all the creatures in your hand into play with this. So this is an infinite tap. So we're going to put this down here with the infinite neuter. We have infinite life gain again. We have infinite creature pump again. We have infinite tokens. We have infinite life. We have, let's see here, um, infinite voting for bringing artifact creatures or enchantments from your graveyard to your hand. That goes with the summoner's egg. The Kitsune Dawnblade, um, tap target creature, infinite um, neutering, uh, plus two plus two for all creatures. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> when Clone Shell enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library, exile one face down, and put the rest on the bottom of your library. So all your creatures come out to play. Every single one of them. This is um, a deck unloader infinite tokens infinite destruction of tapped creatures and with the village bell ringer your stuff will be untapped when sunblast angel comes in um, because uh, your Attacar Valkyrie will be untapped because the sunblast angel died brass herald choose a creature type when it comes to play reveal the top four cards of your library put all creature cards the chosen type into your hand and the rest on the so you get all the creatures out of your um, deck. Duplicant. You exile non-token creature. As long as exiled creature is a creature card, duplicant has that. So you pretty much destroy everybody else's board. Guys catcher's rig. Four damage to target creature with flying. Get rid of all creatures. Mirror golem. Uh, for, let's see here. Remove target card from a graveyard. So you remove everybody's graveyards. This one is probably one that has to go in there um wall of omens is not as good as solemn simulacrum because it is a you do this this is a you may draw card mm -hmm. so there you go you get a may ability now these are all pretty awesome i did not look at exit the battlefield effects because well i just wanted to look at the enter at the time this would be so much larger if you did enter I mean, exit the battlefield as well. Whenever another permanent enters the battlefield under control, each opponent puts a top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. So, whoop, go bye-bye everybody's libraries. And that's thanks to one of these. And let me get to that other one. The Altar of Dementia. Which also, Altar of Dementia is going to mill... And this is going to be a double mill, so you have the Altar of the Brood and the Altar of Dementia, and voop, everything leaves libraries, and everything leaves graveyards with certain things that you have out. So, that's how it works. Sacrifice a creature that you want the effect of, then um, first you have to target the creature with uh, Adakar Valkyrie's ability. So you tap, um, say tap Brass Herald, and then sacrifice Brass Herald to Fraction Altar, and then boom, Brass Herald comes back, Adakar Valkyrie untaps because uh, the Brass Herald was sacrificed, and then you can target again, and again, and again, and again, and again. It's a lot like Safi Eric's daughter. Um, and, uh, but she's sort of limited, because, oh. Well, she targets a creature, and whenever that creature leaves the battlefield, it comes back, and she is sacrificed. And you do that with, like, a Sun-Titan combination, where you target her and bring her back. Um, then have her target him, sacrifice him, and so on and so forth. You get 
the battlefield triggers constantly. So this is just a small smattering of what you can do um, with this combo. Uh, you could bring in constellation effects and sacrifice all your enchantment creatures and keep bringing them back and getting the constellation effects over and over again. You can bring inspired in and constantly do the village bell ringer over and over again so all your creatures um, tap and then untap, tap and untap, but you have to find some way to mass tap everything. And let's see here, I think if we look at let's see here. Tap target creature and opponent controls. You may tap target creature. So Kitsune, Dawnblade, and Inspired um, are going to work together with uh, um, And yeah, this and Inspired are going to work together. So what you do is you tap all your Inspired guys with Kitsune Dawnblade, bring Kitsune Dawnblade back, and then um, Village Bell Ringer is the other part of this combo. Village Bell Ringer goes out, and then everything untaps. Do all the Inspired. Then Kitsune Dawnblade, it, um, he gets um, sacked X number of times until all your creatures are tapped again. Then Village Bell Ringer goes again. Um, and comes back and so on and so forth and you just keep bouncing back and forth in a black white deck this would be devastating especially with like Makar uh, because uh, when he un untaps you start exiling non-land things so uh, this is a pretty powerful combination I suggest that if you run white of any type that you put this in there plus some of the altars because you will run into a combo that you will want to have done there's a lot of white here that you can do I didn't even touch the other colors so, until next time, enjoy playing games, enjoy playing Commander. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. It really helps me to know people are watching my stuff. Take a moment and check out my Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash ExcaliburZone. If you uh, choose to support me, please note that you will be supporting others as well, because half of all my net proceeds from Patreon go to charity. As always... This is Excalibur, and I am out.